Hi Capricorn, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. The message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind, these are general and timeless readings. Everything you need to access is down below in the description box, which would be my website link, Instagram handle. <laughs> All the good stuff and thank you guys so much for liking subscribing thank you for all the ways you've been here and supported the channel and let's dive in <sighs> wow okay who wow um so we've got shadow work right down the center some of you guys this could have been a mentor and then we have the one in reverse, which can be talking about a person that isn't giving good advice. You could have felt like that, but then we have the self, which is upside down. Okay, so we have the vision, which can be a visionary in the environment. And then we have the ocean in reverse. There could be something here about living near a body of water. Maybe there's changes coming to that. Um, or some kind of rejuvenation there, but I, that's in the reverse, so I don't... Ocean in reverse. And then we've got the vision in the right side up. Castle is in the reverse right there. Okay, so this is definitely talking about a lot of monetary wealth. This is such a Capricorn reading, I always say that. Um, if you had a mentor, you could be hooked onto their shadow right now and playing it out, either knowingly or unknowingly. We have the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Ten of Pentacles is in the upright. And Queen of Wands is in the reverse. Okay, so you guys are definitely going to have to take whatever part of the situation that you fall in. Because this is going to be a really weird one. <sighs> okay, we have the High Priestess, which can be a Pisces or a um, Cancer. There's the Judgment, which is about a new ambition or a purpose. We also have the Magician. The Knight of Wands. Nine of Swords is in the reverse. That can be like freeze responses or stress and anxiety. And then we have the Two of Wands. Um, and the Death card. Okay, okay. All right, here's what's going on with the process. You're finally coming out on the bottom. But it's like really interesting because there's something about Ooh. Okay, this is super freaking intense. <laughs> Okay, the Emperor was on the reverse. I was just like kind of checking out the cards. All right, Queen of Pentacles. All right, so um, there's something going on here with action, accumulated wealth. Oh yeah, so here's what I was gonna talk about. Okay, there's a person in the environment that's highly intuitive. And, but interestingly, I take whichever situation you fall in, but there's this stuff that's going to come out. There's all this stuff going on with shadow work, which you guys might be aware of or not. But this could have been about that you were paying attention to a mentor and the one is reverse, which is really interesting because we had that card specifically upside down for you guys, like maybe two or three weeks ago. I can't even remember, but it, I remember vividly that that came out. All right, there's something there about 
this process of hooking to someone's shadow and you will probably go through the same process of this person if you're observing them in your environment so if you've like really connected with this person and you're observing that they're like going through some kind of transition or a change that will probably be the thing that you do too all right you could have accumulated a lot of wealth or you saved a lot of money but there's something here about a disconnection from self that maybe you're aware of and you could be reconnecting or envisioning something at this time but there's something here about a vision a visionary and here's the other side of this which is super weird okay so there was a person in the environment this the magician can be about molding molding people molding characters molding growth and the other side of this especially that one i showed you the emperor in reverse okay so this is this can be what happens so when the emperor in reverse comes in this person could be losing patience or they are very impatient in general because they could want to control someone's behavior and it looks like in general in general you're coming out as the right up so if you are dealing with someone who's sitting in a position of power th this would be someone who does something really shady in business like this can be literally talking about corporations or really big businesses and this can definitely be a person that's sitting in some kind of management position okay they they delegated some kind of thing out or they offered some kind of idea it was all about this vision thing but there was a person here that had the vision they had the original vision for something but something happened in the process which might be something that you're not aware of yet um because there's going to be this like announcement or something's going to come out in public or things are going to be made really like publicly clear about what's been taking place here and what can be the issue is if there was a person that felt like typically high priestess is a person that's hard to control because this person is so connected to their intuition that that's what they follow and that doesn't always go along the lines with someone who like has is exploitative or they abuse their power this person could have been like feeling intuitively pulled to go do something to go down a path and now this emperor in reverse which could be someone who like thinks like they own people or they think that they um yeah it's really weird stuff like they think that they own someone or own someone's ideas and so they're just pretty much taking it over they feel entitled to do that but there's a person here that followed their intuition they went off some kind of path and the emperor in verse could be feeling like um they don't like what this person decided to do or they don't like the look of things and so this person could have if it, if you're tied into this dynamic and you feel like you're dealing with someone and you think that they're kind of like only talking about negative things it's because this would be like the i'm not even going to say it but this can be like reactive abuse or someone coming across as pessimistic or negative but it's because <laughs> that's why i was like wait let me look at this because the other cards that are surrounding it are right side up there's a person here that could be developing something new here to create a victory or to um, get on top of this whole situation because there's a person here that's very corrupt. Like they steal business ideas. They, they just like, they do really corrupt things. Like they can still, um, yeah. Cause it's all about this visionary here. There's an emperor in reverse that figured out that someone had this grand idea or this like really unique, incredible um, way of doing things, but this, this emperor in reverse, part of his downfall is that he lacks patience for processes. Like, and there was a part of the part of the process. If there was like an employee here, I know I'm bouncing all over the place, but I'm getting so much information. If there was a person here that he felt was under his control, which is complete BS, 
um, because it, if there were contracts, there'd be one thing, but I don't even think there was anything like that. But there was a person here that they went off on their intuition. And now this emperor in reverse is like really impatient because they want something to go at a different pace or something like that. But it has its own process, especially when it comes to intuition. Nobody can freaking predict intuition. This person's very un unpredictable. They might even come across as kind of like secretive or, um, you know, don't like, that's the hyperesis. But it's in the upright, so it's not being done in manipulation. It's actually very intelligent. Privacy is power. And so that was involved in something. There's a person that's like doing something correctly because they're following their intuition. And this emperor in reverse is like really impatient. They don't, they want to move something along or they, they lose their patience very easily. And that's why something separated. But now that there was a separation, this person that lost their patience for someone like if if there was some if there was a relationship or like i said this this was some kind of business that was structuring they lost their patience when things got hard this person could have like just bailed when it got to a challenging part of the process but there was a person that kept being patient and waiting for that part of the process to move along and now now this emperor in reverse realizes that there's a particular person like they're tripping out they're trying to like do things really hastily because they just they're out of balance in some particular way probably with their self-care they have un some unresolved trauma but they skipped the hard work they skip they didn't put the hard work into something and so they could be seeking reward, but now there's all these repercussions that are coming up to the surface because even there was a, a even though there was a lot of accumulated wealth here, it was done out of balance. Um, there's a person that's not truly connected to themselves, and that's why anyone who's connected to this person that could be mentoring or giving advice, they're just going to hook onto the same exact shadow process of this person, and they'll go through the same exact thing, the same exact obstructions, restrictions limitations at a particular point in whatever process that's developing that's what's going to happen here because you only go so far as your mentors go in codependency development in internal growth you're only ever going to go that far and so that's part of the issue and so that'll be a very interesting thing maybe you realize you could be observing a person that they were giving a bad advice or that's just happening in general because there's a some there's a person here that's not a true mentor they they didn't do the work they didn't do what was needed to like to part of the process when it was all connected to shadow work and that's why there's this whole, there is gonna be a lot of stuff that's gonna come up to the surface. There's a person here that's now coming into the mix. They're very, um, they're trying to mold someone. They're giving advice to someone. And there's gonna be a really big transformation here. It's all gonna come up to the light. Whatever this magician person, this is some kind of masculine here. They could be kind of like an Archangel Michael, and I never say stuff like that. So it's kind of a big deal if I would mention that at all. Because there could be a person here that's very, like, sort of truth kind of person. They're coming into the mix and mentoring someone to develop in a particular area. To get things right. How very interesting. I'm gonna dive into the extended. If you guys wanna join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo links here, over there. But Cap, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.